We are back at the Abel Colley Tavern and Museum, and we're going to continue the talk on foods. We were talking about the foods in the Green Tree Tavern and some of the devices they used. This is a giant cauldron that they would have made either um, cooked their meats or made large quantities of stew. And then we're going to go now to where they're making some squash soup. We have another size that would not necessarily be called a cauldron, but we can see the uh, person who is preparing the meal is going to slice up the squash, and we have a bone-handled knife down there. After the squash has been cut, it will be placed in this cooking pot, and water would be added, and other spices, and of course it would be a stew or soup for the evening meal, and we have a handmade ladle that would be used to dish out the soup and also to stir the soup. We have two other implements here on the floor. Uh, later you will see that the guests this evening are being served sausage. And that large thing with the handle is a sausage stuffer where the ingredients of the sausage would be put in and sausage casings, which would be membranes probably of animal intestines, would be put at the end of that. And when the handle is turned, it would force the sausage out. Here we have an early day roaster where homemade bread would be placed here and then as one side would be toasted it, the, this would be turned so that the other side could be toasted as well and it would be sat close to the fire in the fireplace. We have a game bird hanging. Now if we had a larger tavern here the game bird would be hanging in the larder and it would be hanging with its feathers on and the head still intact. And the larder would not necessarily be cold, but it would be a cooler spot waiting for the cook or mistress of the household to prepare it for the evening's guests. And now, by using the implements that you were shown before and the other utensils, it's time to sit down to eat at the tavern. On the table here, we can see we have various kinds of bread and potatoes and there's bacon and the sausage that was made using the sausage maker. We also have things that were pickled because that was a way of preserving things. Here we have some pickled asparagus and small squash and of course the um, herb used was dill here we have. We also have um, pickles for um, a good addition to a meal throughout the year. Sometimes fresh uh, vegetables might be available from the uh, tavern's garden. And of course supplies would arrive by Conestoga wagon or farm wagon to supplement what the tavern keeper could raise on his own. We also have over here some cheese, and of course some more bread, fruit, and some more pickled um, vegetables. Uh, one thing though, the, the meal was just no menu. It was whatever was the meal of the day. You, that was what was served here. We're Plot. Um, we are simulating here perhaps a meal at the Green Tree Tavern, but I want to point out that the chairs that we see at this table belong to the museum's collection, and they are chairs from the White Swan Tavern. Which Unlike was... today, the uh, guest could be using wooden implements to eat. In a finer establishment, they probably would be pewter. Now, we do have pewter mugs uh, at the table here. And most of the vegetables and things that are at the table probably would have been grown on the lands that belong to the innkeeper, as well as the, the milk and things to make the cheese over there. The bread could be made from flour that would be uh, ground in grist mills in Fayette County, or as we said earlier, they could be making cornbread. 